Hey guys, it's the Chris and you're welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's another showdown video that this time it's an anything goes battle. Uh, I'm against Retro Duck, who's one of my good friends. We basically did a random Pokemon generator with the results spewing relatively high and or relative to my favor in terms of how the teams look. But the end result is actually rather close. So let's get started, shall we? <laughs> so he leads with Pork Chop, who is Grumpig, and I go with Firefox, my Flareon. And so he immediately gets a Toxic on me, which is actually kind of good for me because this is a Guts Flareon and a half facade. But I use Flare Blitz at first just to st sp uh, st stake out some damage, get some damage on the Grumpig. So he uses Calm, Calm Mind to try to set up, but I just use Facade to say, I'm having none of that and kill your Grumpig. So he sends in Rar as Rampardos. I go for Facade again, just thinking I'll do some good damage. And I did some alright damage, but then Double Edge just comes in for the kill, just like no. At this point, he has 34% left. I send in Spaceman the Deoxys. He doesn't want to stay in, uh, so he goes into Firo. Funny enough, I used Ice Beam thinking he'd stay in, and there goes Dead Firo. So, actually, moderately good switch. So he goes into Nom 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 as Mawile, which ends up being a Mega Mawile. So I go into Roaming Pitch the Entei. He Mega Evolves, as expected, and goes for the knockoff. Knock off my Chesto Berry, which sucks because it's a Rusto Chesto Entei. I just go for the Flare Blitz anyways, and just get the absolute, and absolutely demolish the Mega Mile. Go, he goes into Rar, I go into Iron Head, does some very good damage, gets probably what was a useful, useless crit. At this point, I could have stayed in to finish him off, but I decided to be like, no, I'm going to try to use Dark Ride. So he sets up a Leech Seed, and so that's where the beginning of the end for Dark Ride kind of comes. And then it comes when I miss the Dark Void, and he gets the T-Wave off. At this point, it's a battle between Paralysis and not exactly 100% accuracy in Dark Void to try to hit. And he keeps using Horn Leech to keep his health up. And the Leech Seed's also helping whittle my health down a bit. Despite the fact that I have leftovers, it's not really helping me. It's just making me maybe alive for a bit, a bit longer. At this point, then, he just kills me with the Horn Leech. Which kind of sucks because I want to use a Dark Ride, but it's just unfortunate. So then in comes Hollow, and he gets the T-Wave off, which sucks, but I hit Sacred Fire, kill Yo, Sawsbuck, and all that's left is Venomoth. So I'm like, this is very easy, good game, it's over. Then the Parahacks start coming in. He keeps using Sludge Bomb, and I keep uh, getting paralyzed. I keep uh, not being able to attack through the paralysis, which really sucked. Like, it happened over and over. That was a crit, even. And I'm still paralyzed. And then, another Sludge Bomb. I'm down to 12%, and then finally Zen Headbutt hits. And I kill Moth the Destroyer. <laughs> so yeah, a lot closer than I expected it to be. I mean, sure, I still had four Pokemon left, but I was expecting maybe some kind of ridiculous sweep. But that was a very funny turn of events, what was happening. We were in a Skype call when this was when it was uh, when it was happening. We were dying of laughter during this point. <laughs> Even I was. It was a great moment. <laughs> Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. This has been Doug Grimison. Signing off. Peace.